Hello everyone, I am Decidious, and welcome to this Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke challenge. This is the first Nuzlocke I have ever done, and we're going to be going over the rules as we get through the beginning part. Let's see, it is, it is 10, but it is 10 at night. How many minutes? Oh, I'd say about 29 no wonder it's so dark. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with the Pokemon. Some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Hmm. Cool as Silver Max is, I think. I'm just gonna stick with Dex. Because, you know, it never fits everything we need. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. <laughs> oh, especially seeing this is uh, <laughs> Nuzlocke. World of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. Wow. I haven't played gold or silver since I think I got them back in way back then. Hey, isn't there supposed to be something in here? Uh, oh well. It's a TV. No game consoles. Whole collection of Pokemon picture books. Well, let's head downstairs. Oh, Dex, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. I have the same voice as Professor Oak! <laughs> he said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot, your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Dex, receive the Poke gear. Pokemon gear or just Poke gear? It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? It is Friday night. Is it daylight savings time now? Um... No? I actually don't know the answer to that question. 10.31. Yes, that is right. Come to... Okay, by the way, do you know how to use the phone? No, I don't know how to use a phone. I'll read the instructions, just because we want to torture people. Turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name if you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient. I'm sounding like Professor Oak again. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on in here. Let's, let's see what's in the fridge. Fresh water and tasty lemonade. Mom's specialty. Cinnabar Volcano Burger. Okay, so. In this Nuzlocke, which... Oh yeah, I, there are a few things. First off, options. We set the text speed to fast, because that's important. And the battle style to set. Now, this is... The reason I'm doing this now is because it is Delicious Cinnamon's Discord Community Challenge. Wow, your Poke Gear is impressive. Did your mom set it for you? <laughs> Basically, we have two months to beat Red in a Nuzlocke. Winners get a Shiny or a Legendary. Now, standard... Oh no! 
Um, okay, hold on. Dex, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving on about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him, saying that this time it's real. It is this in it is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look and do it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for your partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. Okay. Okay, one thing I didn't check is my ID number. So, my last ID number is four, which means I get to use Cyndaquil! Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted! Ah, uh, for those wondering, it's one to three for grass types, four to six for fire, seven to nine for water, and zero is player's choice. I've got four, so I get Cyndaquil. Which I believe is you. No, nope, that's a totodile. I don't want a totodile. Partner is important. Uh, this one. Yes! Cyndaquil. My favorite, and my first. Actually, I believe he was my very first Pokemon, because I didn't get to play red, and, red, blue, and yellow when they came out. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. I received a Cyndaquil. Give a nickname to Cyndaquil you received. Yes, it is a boy. And I will thank Salty Logan and Mandarin for their suggestions. So... Cyndaquil's name is Jeff. Thank you guys for naming him Jeff. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the, si the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh, and here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Dex got Elm's phone number. Can I go? Okay. No, no, wait. First this guy. I want you to have this for your errand. I got a potion. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Oh, let's go talk to this dude. So this is the famous Professor Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Kicks us! I think that's the only time that's animation is used. So, before we really get into here, first off, I am going to save. So we don't lose our Cyndaquil Jeff. Now, the Nuzlocke rules do not take effect until... <laughs> until we are able to catch Pokemon. So, not until this Aaron is complete. Tackle it, Jeff! Now, the standard rules for the Nuzlocke apply. Any Pokémon that faints is considered dead and must be released. I may just keep them in a box so I can transfer them, maybe give them away. We'll see. I am only allowed to catch the first Pokémon on the encountered route, and nothing else. If it escapes or flee, or yeah, if it flees or faints, I'm out of luck for this route. These do not apply until I have Pokeballs, so that Rattata is may hopefully won't be our first. Because off, honestly, I want to center it. Love for it. I'm waiting for Pokemon that only appear in the morning. Me too. It's a fruit brain tree. Hey, Barry. Okay. Now, the shiny clause is also in effect. Along with the duplicate clause. Shiny clauses, if it's a, if we find a shiny, we can catch it. That's just it. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Sure. Okay, then follow me. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot. 
<laughs> yes, I will. You better learn about them. This is a Pokemon mod. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. I'll probably be, re I'll be relying on them a lot too. Route 30 is this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are only found in the water. There's a dude out on an island. Here? It's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. Dex received the map card. My Poke Gear now has a map. Poke Beer. Gear? Poke Beer. Hmm. <laughs> Poke gear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Okay, so back to the rules again. I am butchering this. Okay, yeah, butchering. Lots of butchering. <laughs> the duplicate clause is when if we already own a Pokemon or we have already owned one, we are allowed to keep going until we catch, or we run into something we don't have, then we have to catch it. Or not, and just not get anything. Every Pokemon must be nicknamed, hence Jeff. If we black out, it is a game over, no continuing on with any backups we have. And let's see. Other things, we are not allowed to use the daycare. These are the additional rules for the community challenge. No daycare. If we don't have a Pokemon that has that needs to use a field move such as cut or surf, we are able to catch one and use it for the move, but it can't be used for battling or anything else. We have already set it to Set style, which means no switching out when the opponent switches out. And I think that's it. Again, I horribly butchered that whole thing and I should probably do something about that. But let's continue with our training of the Jeff. And the getting of the egg. Oh wait, we don't know that yet. Go Jeff, level 6. And he learned smokescreen! What is it? What is it? I bet it's a hoot hoot. No, it's a rat attack. Yeah, so the reason I want to wait until morning is because... Well, to do the first route is because I want to center it. Or at least try to get a center it. As at night, the only thing you'll find are Rattatas and Hoot Hoots. So, we'll see that then, once we do all this. I should pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm just kind of tackling as I go. Don't want this to end up being a short run. <laughs> What's this? Mr. Pokemon's house straight ahead. He's got his own sign. Woo-hoo! Jeff. Let's use smokescreen. Oh, he had a berry. I didn't know he had a berry. Tackle it, Jeff. Leer! Yeah, so those of you who didn't figure out, I am playing on the... Oops, use Leer again. 
I am playing on the virtual console. The absolute hardest way to record this. Because I wanted to transfer my team forward. Probably the dumbest move I made. <laughs> Yay, Jeff's leveling up. Level 7! He's fast, at least. Let's get that up there. It's Mr. Pokemon, but first... It's a fruit-bearing tree. Hey, a, po a poison cure berry. Wow, I couldn't even say poison. Oh, good. Those are helpful to have. Hello, hello! You must be Dex. Professor Elm said you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Dex received Mystery Egg! Put the Mystery Egg in the key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So, you're Dex. I forget his voice already. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. Pokemon! <laughs> uh, I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Let's receive the Pokedex. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to my get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Dex, I'm counting on you. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have a rest. I'm depending on you. Oh, yay. People are depending on me to do things. Saving don't turn off the power. Professor Elm? N hello Dex, it's a disaster! It's just terrible! What should I do? It's oh no, oh no, please, get back here now! Kick. I should have established voices for these people before I started. <laughs> I wonder if I should do a little bit more training first. On these Rattatas. Okay, so another thing. Let me know... If you guys want me... To... Grind on camera, or just... Do it off, because there... It is a Nuzlocke, and there will be a lot of grinding. Jeff will be a grinding master. Look at him go. What's in here? Ooh, it's berry. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, a berry! Berry in the item pocket. What is in here? You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Why do everyone sound like this? The voice is di slightly different, but the mannerisms are the same. Here, I'll share one with you. I got another berry! Just drowning in berries. Check trees for berries, they just drop right off. Okay. I think we're gonna do a little training here. So, I'm just gonna skip this grinding a little bit. Yay, go Jeff. 
Okay, so I did two more battles after that. Level up. Good evening, you're out late. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? May I see them first? I've got one. He's Jeff. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. At least we hope to see you again. It's great. I can start any number of Pokemon and it's all free. The communication center upstairs was just built. They're still finishing it up. That PC is free for any trainer to use. Speaking of which, can I use it yet? I distinctly remember there being something in here. Ugh. No potion for me. That sucks. Okay, just in case. Save one more time. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Our first trainer battle. Question mark wants to battle. Sent out Totodile. This guy's a cheater. Go Jeff. Let's teach him a lesson. Get him with those eye beams. And a smoke screen for good measure. Should have done those in the other order, but too little too late. Use Leer one more time. Now tackle it! Tackle it, Jeff! Well, that did a lot less than I thought it was going to. Good job, Jeff. One more. Not even gonna get us below 10. I'm below half. Jeff gained 70 points. Bring us to level 9. The special attack and speed are going up. Pretty nice. It's defeated. <laughs> huh. Are you happy you won? I got $300 for winning. My name's... I'm going to be the world's greatest trainer. Pokemon trainer. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon! <laughs> Trick joke's on us. Let's go heal up. And head off to Professor Elm. Let's just say. Route 29. Cherry Grove City, New Bark Town. Okay. See those ledges? It's scary to jump off them. But you can get go to New Bark Town without walking through the grass. Yeah, I think that might be an alright idea, considering that Jeff's already level 9, and we still have to catch something. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I really need to learn more voices. <laughs> I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? I believe I did pick out a name for him. His name was... Um... Ghibli! His name is Ghibli! Thanks for helping my investigation. Dex, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? I handed the egg to him. <laughs> He's terrified of eggs. This? But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it has a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex. Dex, is that true? That's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Dex, I've become so superfluous. 
<laughs> I don't even know if that's the right way to use that word. You may have what it takes to become a champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon, too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Dex, the road to championship will be a long one. A very long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Dex! Use these on your Pokédex quest. Received Pokéball. To add Pokédex to your Pokédex, you have to catch Pokémon. Throw Pokéballs at wild Pokémon to get them. Dex, put the Pokéball in the ball pocket. Okay, so... That officially means that the Nuzlocke is on. Mom's not even here! Wait. I think she moves. She does move. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. What can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now, go on. Well, the Nuzlocke is now in full swing. It, but we are going to wait until I can get a Sentret. So, if there is any Pokemon you want to claim as your own name for me, let me know in the comments below. And they can be yours. <laughs> and I will keep a list of who wants what and what they want to name them. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to follow me on this journey of my first Nuzlocke challenge. Go let other people know, because they'll want to see it too. Alright, see you guys next time.